Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I'm out here in the greenhouse today. Holly just went and picked up some Carolina's Choice Tobacco Mix Potting Soil. That's a really good potting soil. I like it a lot. It is basically a fine peat moss mix. Um, it doesn't really have much else in it, but it's it works really good. It's, uh, I guess, obviously made for growing tobacco plants so it's uh, readily available at a lot of places around here here in central north carolina a whole lot of tobacco grown uh, not as much as there used to be but still quite a bit the greenhouse is just about the same way we left it when we walked away from it in june a little bit junky but i've done some cleaning up Holly's piece of is looking a little sad, but the pineapple actually seems like it's looking pretty good. But it is the middle of March, and we have got some Covington sweet potatoes straight out of eastern North Carolina. And you may be wondering why I've got bathtubs in my greenhouse. We are going to bed these sweet potatoes up with some of this Carolina's Choice Pot mix, and Put these sweet potatoes in there and um, we're gonna grow some sweet potato slips to sell this season so uh, let's get started I've got our bathtubs full of potting soil it's all right you can call me a redneck i don't care and i'm going to place our sweet potatoes pretty close together because i want this to completely fill up with slips i don't want to waste any space and the thing about sweet potatoes if you're uh, not familiar with potatoes in particular uh, Irish potatoes produce eyes all over them. I'm sure you've had potatoes on your counter that sat there too long and they started sprouting. Well, those are eyes. So you can take a Irish potato, white potato, and cut up a hunk for every eye, and each one of those will produce a potato plant. Sweet potatoes are a little bit different. To grow sweet potatoes, we grow what is called a slip. And the way that you grow slips is by bedding the sweet potato. So this is what we're doing right here. We're bedding these sweet potatoes. And there will be a bunch of little potato plants, little sweet potato plants, that are going to come off of each one of these potatoes. And... Uh, we will definitely do follow-ups on this, but here in a month, these bathtubs will be completely full, I mean like a chia pit, with sweet potato plants. And we'll come in here, and you can do it, you can do it a couple of ways. You can either break them off or jerk them off the potato and bundle them up in a damp cloth or whatever and deliver them to where you're selling them or you can come through and snip them off. A lot of people, a lot of the big growers down east do it with uh, hedge clippers. They go through and just mow, sort of mow the bed off and then they will put on a second growth. So hopefully we're gonna get two cuttings or pullings of um, sweet potato slips off of these beds. Alright, so I got these bedded full. I'm going to put about a half a bag of pot and mix on top of each one. And I got a few more potatoes. I'm going to have to come up with something else to bed those in. But that's a good thing because uh, nobody around here has sweet potato slips. They are nearly impossible to come by if you don't grow your own. 
and a lot of older folks around here grow gardens so I feel like we are going to um, it's not a get-rich-quick scheme but I think we can sell all the sweet potato slips that we have so the more we have the better this is our first year doing this so we'll kind of get a feel for it and uh, next year we will adjust accordingly. So that's how you bed sweet potatoes, guys. There's uh, no real science to it. Um, a lot of old people that used to bed their own used to use rotten sawdust. Um, the key to that is just knowing when the sawdust is okay to use. It has to be decomposed enough that there's not any acid left in it from the tree sap. Because um, then it kills your plants. But uh, yeah, this is a, a good safe way to do it using pot and mix. And then you don't have to have any fancy bathtubs like I've got or anything store bought. You can use anything you've got. Uh, I've seen people use... 55 gallon drums cut in half with holes drilled in the bottom whatever you've got will work and uh, so now you know how sweet potato slips are produced if you didn't before um, thanks for watching guys stay tuned we got a lot more videos coming we are fixing to be wide open seeding things in the greenhouse for uh, ourselves as well as plants to sell at the farm and a little bit of wholesale plants so uh stay tuned more videos coming i appreciate you watching hit that subscribe button if you hadn't already and i will see you next time fun fact north carolina is the number one producer of sweet potatoes in the united states kind of strange that you can't find sweet potato slips around here isn't it they're mainly grown in the black lands and the sandy soil in eastern north carolina up here where i'm at in central north carolina we've got a lot of hard clay soils and sweet potatoes are just not a thing commercially the only way people really grow them is in home gardens